What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to make this wavy little QB animation thing. It's, it loops seamlessly and it's really easy to make, it'll only take you about 5 minutes. So the first thing to do once you've got Blender open is to delete this cube. Just hit X, hit delete, and hit Shift A, add a mesh and add a plane. We're going to scale it up to 8. So hit Tab to go into edit mode and we're just going to subdivide the plane. So go to Edge, hit subdivide and come over here to this little menu and we're going to change the number of cuts to 20. Now come out of edit mode, actually go back into edit mode and hit A and go to edge and we're going to do this little thing here, edge split. And next thing to do is to come to your modifier and we're going to add a new modifier and we're going to add this smooth modifier. And what that's going to do is it's going <clears> to <throat> split everything into little squares. So if you just change this factor parameter, bring it up, actually come out of edit mode, so hit tab. Now just bring this factor parameter up. Yeah, just bring it back up to about here. Delete this light here. So click on the light, hit X, delete. Click on the camera, hit Alt G, Alt R, and now hit zero and hit G, Z, and just bring it up to about, about here, I think. And we're going to add another modifier. So come here, add a solidify modifier. And we're just gonna bring this up to about here. Cool, that's looking really cool. Kind of looks like that um, Jewish war memorial in Berlin. We're gonna add a displace modifier. So Come here, uh, add a displace modifier, and just make sure that's at the top of the hierarchy, otherwise it won't work. Now, add a new texture in your displace modifier, and click here or here, it does the same thing, and this is where we can change the texture settings. So, on this drop down menu, we're going to choose marble, and it's going to look really ugly, that's not what we want. Um, but just give it a bit of time. Hit Shift A, and we're going to add an empty, and we'll just do a cube, and just scale that all the way up to about here. Now, click on your plane again, and we're going to go to the modifier settings, and just go to your displacement settings, and just bring the strength down to about 0.1. So that's looking a bit better now. Got some wonky cuboids now. Go back into your camera view, hit zero, click on your empty, and what we're going to do, we're going to use this empty, this empty cube that we just made, and we're going to use that to basically affect the displacement that we've just applied to the plane. So if you go to your plane and go to your displace settings, see this little thing that says texture coordinator, click on the drop down menu and hit object, and now on this little thing, you want to direct it to your empty, okay? Now, when you start rotating this cube, it's going to affect the displacement now. So if you rotate on the Z axis, you can see kind of what that's doing now. So we're just going to quickly animate that. So bring the timeline up and change that to 120. And actually, first of all, go to Edit, Preferences animation and just make sure this is set to linear I think it's set to bezier by default so once that's done come to your timeline make sure in the first frame and apply keyframe to the z-axis of the empty and go to one to one and and apply keyframe now when we hit space that's going to do this and that's not looking great so what we can do is actually scale the cube up and the larger we scale it the more subtle the displacement is so just make that cube a bit bigger and now hit play okay still not good so we're going to go to our texture settings on the plane so click on the plane go to the texture settings bring the depth down to zero and bring the size up a bit yeah, that's looking cool. 
yeah, if you add more turbulence, it will be a bit more random, which can be cool too. But for this tutorial, we're gonna we're gonna make the turbulence about here. Yeah, so we'll do improved purlin. Uh, put the size at two. Depth zero. Turbulence at one point seven ish, and just leave the nabler as it is. I don't actually know what that does, so if someone wants to explain that in the comments. Now, we're gonna add a wireframe to these cubes. So, if you just add a new modifier, add wireframe, that's pretty cool, but we're just gonna drop the thickness now. So just pull that down to about, about here. Now, we're gonna start shading the actual thing. Just turn your overlays off um, and hit Z. So yeah, hit Z and A to go into render mode. Now, go to your world settings. Let's make this black. Now, click on the plane. Go to your material settings. We're gonna add a new material and we're gonna make this an emission shader. Make it whatever color you want. I think it looks nice. Make it a bit of a pale color. So I'm gonna go with sort of a nice blue, I think. And you can make the uh, movement a bit more extreme just by clicking on the empty, hitting S, and just scaling it down a bit. Obviously, don't overdo it. And if you hit Shift when you're scaling, you can be a bit more precise with your scale. Yeah, that's looking pretty cool. You know what? I'm gonna to go to the plane, and I'm just gonna make the um. I'm just gonna play with this smooth plugin here, the second one down. It's gonna bring the factor off a bit. I'm gonna make these cubes a little bit smaller. Yeah. And I'm gonna make that wireframe thinner. more like it. Now all you've got to do is render the animation. So if you just come to your scene your scene settings and we're gonna render the file so just change the file directory to somewhere where you can find it. So I've got a thing called Blender Renders and I'm just gonna call this Wavy Cubes and hit accept and change this to FFmpeg Change your encoding container to MPEG4 and leave your video codec as it is, H H.264 and put this to perceptually lossless and we're going to now render it so just go to render and hit render animation and just wait for that to, uh, wait, to wait for that to render right. right, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial um, as you can see it's very easy it's a very beginner friendly uh, motion graphic and it looks quite cool as well. Um, if you did like the uh, video just hit the like button and subscribe and also check out my Instagram page for more of my work. Alright, cheers.